Sure. All right, so we are going to pivot uh, to the lions then. Uh, but first, I am going to go to the bathroom. So I'll run some ads. If we get some raiders, welcome the raiders. Um, but I'm going to use the bathroom. I'm going to run some advertisements. And I'll, I'll see you in three minutes while I get set up here. The lion... Step into the lion's den. Death Stranding later, probably. Although we did go a little over time there. Anyway, see you in a moment. Squeep. Oh no, I left Minecraft open! <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Could have lost all my stuff, man. Could have lost all my stuff. Alright, let me just tweet, because this is gonna be, this is the world premiere. Step into the lion's den. Let's evaluate debate and eviscerate even though we're not actually going to eviscerate steam's new releases and then let chat vote on what to play how about this slash marker start of lion's den Slash marker burp. Ugh. Okay, I apologize. It felt good though. It felt good though. Oh, that's it's just water, chat. It's just water. It wasn't RC Cola or anything like that. Okay, so check this out. You guys are gonna lose your minds. You're going to lose your minds. You say, streamer, he, he, he never puts in the extra mile for production value. Oh, yeah? 
What do you call this bad boy right here? What do you call making a custom OBS overlay for the lion's den and then finding the most regal font you can possibly find? Googling how to make gradient Photoshop. Now look, it's not really, it's not that good. <laughs> But we're just, we're agile, okay? So, and this is also, this is Steam, but it's zoomed in. Like, um, I don't know, like 175%. So, my whole thing here is that I'm basically, this is how I monetize um, researching what games I want to play. All right? So, I, you go to Steam. And then we're, we're going to add some games to like a short list from what we watch here. We're going to watch trailers. We're going to read uh, user reviews and so on and so forth. We're going to add some games to a short list. And we might do this for like 30 to 60 minutes. And then whatever games chat likes the most, we're going we're gonna to vote on and, and play. What the heck? Oh, I thought that said Sword of the Necro Dancer. And I got very excited. Um... So yeah, let's just go, you know, see more new releases. And, and we're going to go with the uh, popular new releases. Let's start with Pumpkin Days. And if, obviously if it seems like it's DMCA, we're going we're gonna to stop it midway through here. Pumpkin Days is a traditional farming RPG. Pick one of three towns and start your farming adventure. Farm, fish, mine, catch bugs, raise animals, and more. Help fill out the museum to stop a factory from being built on the island. Unless you wish to side with the factory, the choice is yours. Uh, copy, uh, can I copy your homework? Sure, but just don't make it too obvious. All right, let's, let's take a look here. One minute, 24 seconds. Certainly a little bit of a Stardew Valley uh, vibe coming up here. <laughs> I, I do like a character creator. Donkey, that donkey. You can name the animals. That's a good start. Little Animal Crossing there. Caught a flounder. It's got fishing. It's got chopping. It's got mining. You can pet the dog. You can carry the chicken. You can ride a horse as a vampire. I have no idea what that was, but that's okay. Yo, is that... Uh, that was Neo from The Matrix. I kind of like you, Don. Like, like, like you, I guess. Thanks for the potato cast. You can get married? Uh, <laughs> you can have a baby? You could, you shouldn't run with the baby on your back. Just throwing that out there. Um, don't shake the baby. Now, here's my question is, is that multiplayer? Or is this um, just AI companions? Pumpkin Days. It, are you multiplayer? Online PvP, online co-op. Honestly... It, it kind of, it looks pretty ambitious, but for me, I already got Stardew on the go. I already got, um, uh, already got RimWorld on the go. I already got Minecraft on the go. But that having multiplayer is kind of cool. Although I do, I, I, I'm always a little skeptical of games that have, uh, like a cutesy kind of art style. And then the art, in my opinion, appears to be evoking, let's just call it a different emotion. But I, I think this is, it looks interesting, but not for me. But look at this. 71% positive reviews is pretty okay. And then 86% overall. So that's Pumpkin Days. Now this one, I've got to be honest, it, it, it's been on my list. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to play it because it seems a little bit um, <laughs> insensitive. <laughs> but it's, it's called Garbage Hobo Prophecy. Um, and it's free to play, and it has very positive reviews. Um, but it it also it appears to like part of it is like, hey, you can experience what life is like for a homeless person, and you get like some sympathy out of it. But then also, I think they fight each other, which seems a little bit. Um, let's just call it Minkus. 
the oh. chosen one, who will bring back peace and stability to the streets. Maybe it's a Sips but game? But there's one problem. You don't remember who you are, nor what your name is. You are also... Naked? What? After a welcoming punch to the face from a local hobo, you are forced to train self-defense tech. I mean, it's... With all the scrap resources allows you to build essential equipment for survival. Choose your fighting style and learn secret moves from those who decide to join you. City of Garbage is full of surprises, and usually not pleasant ones. Vicious hobos, dangerous criminals, fierce street gangs. Illegal fighting arenas, trashed up neighborhoods, and suspicious traitors is just a drop in the ocean of the encounters you will face oh. during your journey to seek for answers. Monka? Question is, are you the chosen one? Or just another stray dog? New cyberpunk update looks great. Um, so this is, uh, that's hobo, uh, garbage prophecy. Um... I think I'm probably just going to leave that... Like, are they going to fart in the last six seconds here? Is that what's happening? I'm going to leave that off of the list for... Um, An ancient we're going to call that the Minkus coefficient. On the other hand, it is free, and it has 80% positive reviews, which is pretty good. Um, let's take a look at Sword of the Necromancer. This looks like it could be up my alley. Hold on. I don't know the developer. 71% positive. That's like, that's kind of on the borderline, but uh, we, we would consider giving it a try, especially if it's in early access. Oh, there is a free demo as well. Okay. Let's take a look here. So far, we're still waiting for our first game to go on the short list. Art style looks very nice. Oh my. What would you do to bring back someone you love? Would you slash a skeleton for minus one? Delve deep into the necromancer's lair. Discover powerful weapons and relics. Animation looks nice. Fight alone or together in local co-op. I'm seeing a lot of minus ones and minus twos. I, I kind of feel like I'd love to see like a minus 900 at some point. Just to see where the game can scale. Turn your foes into allies. Okay, it's kind of neat. I mean, the art in the in the marketing is incredible too. Bring Coco back from the dead. Minus five. <laughs> Poggy minus three. She's pogging up. Sword of the Necromancer. That that seems pretty okay. Let's let's delve a little deeper. Certainly seems like the kind of thing you could play a half hour of and have like a pretty okay time. Um let's let's put that one on the short list for now. Do I have a pen and a pad with me? I don't. <laughs> oh hello, I do hello mouth. Hello, Mouth. Welcome. And welcome, Mouth Raiders, as well. If you'll excuse me, I'm just getting my notebook so that I can put it on the short list. Welcome. You're, you're welcome in the den. Just be careful. Your safety is not guaranteed. This is the February 2nd short list. Sword of the Necromancer. Now, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look like the kind of game, you know, necessarily I'd be eager to put like 80 hours into. Um, but it looks kind of neat. I could do it on the computer, but I don't want to uh, screw up my display capture because, I, you know, as you can tell from the background, this took a lot of work. Now, the medium, I'm just going to tell you, I'm, I'm worried about AAA games having DMCA-able music in their trailers, but I'll take a look regardless. 
if you'll excuse me. Right off the bat, I'm like, this sounds like a DMCA game. <laughs> Discover a dark mystery only a medium can solve. Travel to an abandoned communist resort and use your psychic abilities to uncover its deeply disturbing secrets, solve dual reality puzzles, survive encounters with sinister spirits, and explore two realities at the same time. Oh, it's available on Game Pass? Yeah, so I'm, this is not really fair, but like, I, I follow um, Christopher Odd on Twitter, and he posted uh, his analytics for like episode two of the medium on YouTube, and it was like, uh, hey, way less of your audience is interested in this game. Uh, consider pivoting. And I was like, oh, well. <laughs> You know, somebody else kind of already did the the work for me. So, um, but it seems uh, it it seemed kind of interesting from from reading that it had like dual reality puzzles. I thought it was like maybe um, similar to this game Capcom came out with uh, like five years ago called uh, Remember Me, where you could uh, you know like manipulate time in order to figure out like what happened in the past, and that played like a narrative role. Um, but yeah, probably not, not a great game for, um, for my personal stream. And then Journey to the Savage Planet, like, uh, it's, it's uh, like a low candidate because it's been around for a while. Uh, you know, it's been an epic exclusive. Uh, we'll, we'll probably just le leave that for now. Yakuza, I'm just going to be straight up with you. Could happen at some point. Um, so I'm not going to watch the trailers, but I did see that right away, Yakuza 5 bowling in the screenshot i mean just that by itself has got me more tempted but we're definitely going to finish death stranding first or at least you know decide whether or not we're um going to finish death stranding first chroma bloom and blight <laughs> chroma bloom and blight is a truly free-to-play competitive card game i feel like i already know how chat's going to feel about this and this is a three minute long trailer but Phage wasn't like that. It had a big flowy mane and a giant. The Antiphage pulled a f fiddle, he said. Look. And suddenly, the Antiphage pulled a fiddle from his fur and started to play. The villagers joining in song and dance as. Oh, oh. well, I hope you're all ready because there wasn't an Antiphage or a knight at all. It was Bibu Bubo and Maul. No, it was Rayla Regal in the. This seems like the sort of trailer you watch when you're already into the game. Chimera. Is there? Let's let's see. Maybe this is more. Yeah, yeah. Why 107. Here we go. <laughs> maybe she's tired, or she's angry, or she's got something better to do. Maybe she's dead. They may Frankly, be dead. I don't care. The question is not why did she leave. The question is, what do we do next? Do we gather and protect each other from our fraying reality? Do we weave the world's It's the end of Return of the Jedi. Beautiful things. Do we chase peace and harmony with the magics left in her wake? Or do we finally fulfill the promise and the destiny of humanity? Master reality. Learn divinity. Ascend. Come with me. Oh, Chroma. I still have absolutely no idea what it's about, but, uh, you know, I appreciate they're, they're building a, a world here. I do like uh, I do like a card game, don't get me wrong, but probably like a... It, it sounds unfair, but I do sort of feel like sometimes, uh, you know, if, if you're going to get into a, a card game like this, it has to dazzle the crap out of you because... Uh, you know that the barrier to entry on these games is is sometimes like so high, but it is free to play. That's really cool. Does it have in? It does have in-app purchases, which is not a surprise. Uh, not surprising at all. You'll never need to buy a card pack again. Every card in game mode is totally free and always will be. The store will offer daily deals on cosmetics, card art, loading screens, taunts, and emotes. Well, that's like the model that people want, right? Like that people don't want to be 
incentivized uh, to, you know, like spend 250 bucks per expansion on buying digital cards. So that's pretty neat. I'm, I, I probably won't play it right now, but it's one of the, whenever it comes to games like this, I always let um, the canaries go in first and then they start playing the game. And if they decide that it's good, they will recommend it to me. <laughs> yeah, you guys are the canaries. And then uh, they, yeah, we'll put that one on like the long list for now. We'll put that on the long list for now. But that seems, uh, it seems cool. Devour. Burn her together. Don't worry, she can't get out. Online co-op survival horror. Spooky. A demon awakens. Something about, like, uh, somebody in a hooded robe, but also holding a flashlight, right? Oh, you gotta make a, a goat sacrifice. <laughs> oh, that thing's freaking huge, man! Oh no! <laughs> Work together. Why are the goats are so small compared to the people, man? Reverse the ritual. Stay alive. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's definitely going on the list. That is absolutely going on the list. Let me put it on there. It might not fit for this format because we're supposed to play in co-op, I think, but that is that's that's funny stuff. Devour is a co-op survival game for one to four players. Run, scream, hide, just don't get caught. Reviews are, are quite positive. Let's, let's take a look at the reviews here. Came out on Thursday. Single player mode for hardcore players only. That's not me. Due to the price point, I decided to take a shot in the dark at Devour, and I wasn't disappointed at all. It's similar in style to Pacify. Isn't Pacify is the one that Mathis, Dan, and I played, right? The, the don't worry, she can't get out one? Oh, man, that's great. You have to find and sacrifice ten goats, which are spread out within the house, with Anna becoming increasingly hostile with each sacrifice. Dude, this, this would be a great fit for, uh, for some multiplayer streams, I think. Anna got cake from Brody uh, Feels Badman buy it got body blocked and suffered a mental breakdown until anna ends your suffering devoured cheese oh no here we go there's no penalty for getting down by anna as you can just crawl away and get a teammate to pick up one of the infinitely generating med kits littered around the map Sorry, didn't didn't mean to be so rude, but um, yeah. So I, I put this on the short list, but it's really more on like a recommend this to maybe to uh, to to Dan for a gex or you know pitch it to Sips or something like that. Uh, Astro Narc, a fusion of roguelites and auto battlers like never before seen. Recruit a party of mysterious heroes, navigate deadly lands, collect an arsenal of magical items, and vanquish a new evil threatening the realm. 92% positive out of 14 reviews. This seems kind of interesting. Let's, let's see what it's all about, man. Drag three heroes to the right to begin your adventure. Solaire! Meepo! <laughs> Begin auto battle. Okay. You know, a game that I don't have to play... Honestly, is pretty up my alley. RimWorld music. You get events, like FTL style. Spend HP to get money. Take out a big old spider. 
you have failed. Oh, but we're only we're only halfway done the trailer. This time, this time, who are you gonna take with you? A necromancer, a druid, and a guy in a red cape that looks like he's holding a lollipop. Slay the Spire art. Look, I don't mean to insult this game or Slay the Spire, but Slay the Spire's art is a little bit more sophisticated than than Astronark. It was a little cleaner, yeah. Oh my god, the Banded Baron. The Rat King. We just don't get it. The Griffin. I mean, honestly, I don't think I need to see any more of this. I, oh, or do I? The Gaping Dragon. I think, uh, I think I would put this one on the short list for sure. Astronarch. Don't worry so much about the price, you know. Um, you know, it's coming out of my uh, out of my credit card. Seems interesting. Put it on there. All right. 91% positive reviews. Let's see what people are saying. Pleasant auto battler with distinctive graphics. I could have told you that. Really interesting concept. Exactly what was advertised in great delivery. I love the concept. It seems a lot of a lot of stuff about the concept, which I, I agree. It, it drew me in. We've already played such art. We've already played skull. Um Hexseed, I'm going to be honest, and Nerds Online, I don't think so. So uh, Nerds Online, I may play at some point, um, but it's the it's the Zach Craft uh, or Zach uh, competitive multiplayer scra uh, solitaire. I got to find the right the right uh, group. I I don't know if I really want to play Arrow Tennis. We'll probably not look at that one because it could be a little NSFW. Um, what about Edifice of Fiends? Doesn't look that dissimilar from the last one. Tap Tap Adventure. <laughs> Anxiety.exe. <laughs> oh no. Luciform. Anxiety.exe. You know what? Let's take a look at it. There's no trailer. Relaxing, cute, and informative game about anxiety disorders and mental health in general. Probably one that will pass. I, I don't see that uh, the chat environment being particularly uh, pogged up over that. Biotech Samurai. You lost everything in your life. Your body, your skin, and even your voice. Welcome to Biotech Samurai. A third-person swordplay game in the cyberpunk style. Oh, but it's not out yet. But it, it developed by Indie Game 3000. The story started here. Is it text to speech? On this God knows planet in the universe. All I knew that it is millions of miles from planet Earth. They took me here for their experiment. I lost everything what I had, what you can imagine. <laughs> My skin, my legs, oh no, my eyes, all pieces of my body were replaced, even my voice. You wouldn't know they it. They never told me why they did that, but now I need to find the truth. Who did that with me, and why? I waited for this moment hundreds of years. And this day come, something went wrong and capsule was broken. Now, it is my moment to go outside and get back to where it started. To planet Earth. <laughs> like, the text-to-speech aside, am I crazy? Does the environments in the sword play actually look pretty good? I'm sorry, it's just, when I looked back, when I looked back at chat and it just said planet Earth over and over again. They have to get back to planet Earth. I don't know, man. Like, I'm, 
I'm impressed with the 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 environment fidelity and like the, it looks pretty sophisticated. I am not sure that I can get my body back. But I swear that I will find who did that with me. And I will destroy them all. <laughs> it's Warframe, dude. Unreal Engine. Dude, I can't wait to play Unreal Engine when it comes out. When it comes out later this year. It's it's supposed to come out today. I mean that I I mean I'm just being straight up with you. The the trailer had some some interesting stuff for sure, but at the same time it looks quite ambitious for a, for what appears to be like a one person game. Oh man. Biotech Samurai. I mean, if the whole game is narrated in that style, like, I gotta, I gotta at least put it on the list, but we can't play it today because it's not even freaking out yet, dude. All right. Let's see what else we got here. War on the Sea. I just, I can tell just from the screenshots. There is no chance. What the, oh my God. Do I even want to know what Durka Simulator is? Durka Pass? So I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn the screen region off here just for a second, because so I want to make sure that it's not showing um, safer, not safer work. <laughs> I don't I don't think if you're logged out, it will show safe for works uh, unsafe for work stuff by default. Usually the way that it works is like when you mouse over something, it goes like, hey, this is porn. You want to continue? And then you just go, no. Oh my God, there's so many games. This is just like whenever I, people have many times told me that I'm like a baby for complaining about, well, not complaining, but how many games uh, come out on Steam every day? Just look at this, okay? You ready? This is from February 2nd, which is today. It's endless. Like, this has got to be, like, a hundred, a hundred new games. What the heck is Chinese Bull? I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to mouse over that. Okay, we, we finally got back to February 1st, but... Let's take a look here. All right. Oh, my God. Okay, I, I, you're, you're absolutely right. I should remove DLC from the list. Filter out demos and DLC. Refine this search. Edit your preferences. Okay. Oh, then to edit your preferences, you've got to freaking log in, dude. Which is fine, but show selected types. Just games, please. Thank you. And then... Okay. This should be fine. This should be fine. I'm never logged into browser Steam, dude. I use the client forehead. Okay, so we were on Biotech Samurai, a Western drama. It's an audio game. Oh, please use your headphones. No, I, d I will not click on Arrow Tennis. A Western drama. Put on your headphones. Text to speech, baby. Tribbit Studio presents. <laughs> We're almost there. 
Are they gonna give me a haircut in ASMR? The biggest hall in the West. Patunk. Let's get out of here. Trust me, wait. You've got to trust me. Listen to those bastards crying for mercy before you shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, man. Oh, Western drama. Welcome to a Western drama. All right, um, so probably not, but it's an interesting concept. There's no doubt about that. There's something wrong with me, because I see a free game, and I go... Something must be, must be wrong. It's a free horror short set in the monochrome world of my beautiful paper smile. It tells the tale of a strange hunter in an even stranger land on a quest to find medicine for his ailing mother. Strange and powerful forces are stirring. Can he resist them? Little paper craft graphics. Looks cute. What does that even mean? Tomato game. <laughs> Very spooky. Oh, now you're in a world of beds. A world of dreams. Picture yourself in a world of beds. Looks interesting. Coming February the 2nd. That's today. Um, kind of wanted to see a little bit more gameplay, though, to be honest with you. But, I mean, I, I gotta be honest. A lot of this was just... Sometimes you just scroll until you see this. And if you see this, you know you're, you're good to go. But I do also want to look at the world's hardest game, 3D. And I also wish to look at Soviet arcade machine basketball. Like, what on earth is this? And, uh, what on earth is, uh, Sphere 3, Ira del Devastador, Latino America? <laughs> That's not what I expected that it would be. Um, but sure, we'll probably watch that one. Dead Man's Rest. Oh, I already know where that one's going. Peaceful gunner. Peace, love, and guns. Shoot some magical flowers to turn soldiers into hippies. So, unfortunately, it's not out yet. Um, but I do want to... Let's, let's take a look at Valheim real quick. Oh. A brutal and... A brutal exploration and survival game for one to ten players. Set in a procedurally generated... Purgatory inspired by Viking culture. Coffee Stain is a real publisher, not to be rude to the previous publishers that we've seen. I believe they also published Satisfactory. Explore the tenth world. This is not published by Indie Game 3000. Drip. I'll put it on the short list. We'll put Valheim up here. Hmm. 
It does look a little bit like Swedish Minecraft. But it is in Therpy. I do love Therpy. Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> Minecraft's not Swedish, it's Japanese. It was made by Hatsune Miku, as we've already established. Reviews, very positive. Easy, easy to put it on the list. Easy to put it on the list. Okay. The world's hardest game 3D. I'm just gonna tell you immediately, this is, this is going on the list. In cursive, the world's hardest game 3D. I mean, this doesn't look that hard. The music is so good. It's so hard. It doesn't look that hard, though. Like, just dodge the ball, forehead. Three user reviews. Long playing time. You love to see it? This game has simple graphics, super responsive controls, and great level design. It's an instant Zack Store's Indie Gold! With the first impression score by me of a 9.5 out of 10. That's an incredible review! It got an instant Zack Store's Indie Gold! I love it, especially at this price. Classic game. Unless you're competitive and ragey. Probably don't get this game then. That, uh, that doesn't sound like me. So that one, I already put it on the list. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna click, uh, take the screen region off for a second and see what Chinese Bull brings up. Um, well, I'm going to promise you right out of the gates is not what you expected. What is Chinese Bull? Um, it's a, a jigsaw puzzle. You, you do a jigsaw puzzle and you get cute ladies. Of course. <laughs> Scary. No screenshot. Fragmented Mind is a single-player offline indie horror game starts when you wake up and find yourself in a strange house and going through a series of events to explore and solve the mysteries that you will face in this house. Ah. That's where I left my, my question mark poster. What? What is wrong with the lights, dude? <laughs> What's wrong with the ceiling fan? Turn right. <laughs> Undead Eatery. Okay, it's a little diner dash. Detective Solitaire, Inspector Magic, and the Forbidden <laughs> Magic. <laughs> I didn't expect the next word to be magic as well. Water Park Simulator, 71 cents. Your summer replacement. VR only? Am I hero? Dude, I will say, Crunker? Crunker looked pretty cool. Let me show you this trailer right here. I, I was going to add this one to the short list to begin with. An easy to get into, fully moddable first person shooter with advanced movement mechanics. It seems like the kind of game where if you start playing it now, you will just get absolutely destroyed. By people that have been playing it for a hundred years, but... Seems kind of interesting nonetheless. Thousands of skins. Create your own style. It could be a carrot. Oh, you get Counter Strike Global Offensive knives. Community made tools. 
Well, that scares me. Although I did see that there was a bonk in there. Gotta be honest, the trailer's very well made. Especially by, like, Steam New Releases standards. What, you couldn't get any footage of people being good? <laughs> Incredible. Kill cams. Dude, Krunker looks pretty sick. I already put it on the... I already put it on the short list. Mostly positive reviews. 75%. Why the F did they put this game on Steam? Very broken! Two things ruin this. Tryhards and hackers. I can understand that. Full of hackers. Okay. Well, then, I, I understand the frustration there, but... Maybe they're just people that are good at the game. Probably not going to click on the game called The Best BJ. Or Fricker in the Ashes. <laughs> I would just... Game of Mafia. Space and Laser, Sky Primal, Mars Mission. What about The Creature? Among Waifus. This game is now a test project and serves to gather various experiences, improvements, and precursors of a new, already in development, free to play multiplayer arcade game. All right. Dear Mom, this is one you're like, I, it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem horny, but you never know with some of these games on Steam. Well, I think we're we're getting close to where we're just gonna we're gonna send it with the short list that we already got here. But this this gives you a little bit of a preview. Like, keep in mind we have only looked at two days, like a day and a half of uh, of Steam games. This is what it was like when Northern Line tries. You're scrolling through like 85 games going like... Like, what the heck, man? Pick up basketball VR, happy poker. Like, it's, it's all porn. <laughs> Spin and roll. So, 3D Marble Madness type game. I do like those. We've played a lot, though. The Captain is dead. Board game, isometric. I mean, this looks kind of cool. Let's take a look at this. This. Is oh my God! This tickles my. This tickles all the right spots for me. Oh my God! There are aliens all over the ship. Come on, open up. Wow, this looks kind of dangerous. Good. Blast them. Ready. Get your goddamn dirty tentacles off the of oh my spaceship. Biological components operating at 100%. Skill assimilated. Reminds me of one of those old-fashioned video games. I knew she was gonna say it. I'm done. Taking charge. I haven't used one of these since 3086. I'm still trying. Those aliens picked the wrong ship to mess with. I'm just gonna be honest, it seems good, but the basic level of acumen that I have in a board game is like if they could just distill it down to two mechanics. They're like, you roll dice, and then if you touch somebody else on the board, they get vaporized and they go back to the start. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. If there's like nine mechanics like this, I'm like, I don't know, man. Or 900 mechanics? I, I literally did just describe Ludo, it's true. Turn-based survival strategy puts you in the captain's chair as you try to save your crew from being blown to bits by aliens. Four user reviews. Mr. Midas says, super cool. It's like you've been taken back to the future, then shot into space. From the chief engineer, weapons officer, or visiting admiral, all the way down to the ensign and the ship's janitor, you must combine your unique talents to avoid utter annihilation from the cold depths of space. You have the con. It's a finalist for UK Game of the Show. 
positive, little negative. Zero point one hours on record scares me a little bit. There are only seven characters to choose from. One one and this sounds rude. One of the things I don't like to see in a, in even positive Steam reviews is like zero point two hours on record. Four hours on record. Now we're uh, now we're talking about it. Kingpin gamer. The captain is dead. Is hard AF. There are S H I T happening every turn, and I can keep up. <laughs> Congratulations, Sonic. T L D R review. <laughs> it's not what I expected. TLDR review separated into different header sections. Uh, only has remote play. If that's true, then this is probably not. Uh, this is probably a no, just because like I really would want it to have online. Yeah. Without online, it's probably a no. But I do appreciate them for writing a a long review. Dark Treasury. Uh, it looks like it's a keyboard-based game with positive reviews. I just, at present, don't really understand what he's doing. I'm assuming you hit the corresponding key that you need to hit in order to hurt the monster. Available on Steam. Well, I could have told you that. What do, what do you do? Is it Quap? What is the game? What do you do in the game? You are a nameless warrior and your task is to set off on a journey full of dangers to destroy the evil that breaks free. Will you succeed? Yo, you can tell they're a real coder, though. Semicolons on the end of the lines. I have a feeling the main character was nailed to the floor because he does not move. I can't imagine how you can live without movement. Without women. Beautiful slasher. Tower defense in 2D. A good gam. Nice pixel graphic two-button game. Bad game, two buttons, doesn't work. These other reviews look suspicious. Yo, there's a lot of Sonic avatars, huh? There are still many similar projects, but this per this one perhaps only caught my attention. This game is for those who played Sega when they were little. Bracket plus like. <laughs> What are, these reviews are freaking me out, man. An old school platformer? I don't believe that you platformed. Your character can't walk. Well, how are they platforming then? But at the same time is adept at wielding weapons. The game stood out from other 2D platformers not only because of the fact that the character stands still, but also because of the excellent pixel graphics, a variety of enemies, the presence of a boss, etc., etc. I'm just, uh, I guess I'm just a little confused. Let's put it that way. Majang. Pawn scum. <laughs> oh, it's like Agario. Okay. She turned me into a newt. Conversation blurred to avoid spoilers is so good. Okay, so just scroll it down, scroll it down. You can honestly, like, with you might say that this looks quite overwhelming when there's so many games that come out. You can tell, like, pretty quickly, I think, at a glance. Like, you know, I'm not saying Hot Dodge isn't going to be a great game, but you kind of know what you're getting into when you look at the art and you also recognize that it's a dollar and 19 cents. Say no more. Craft in Abyss. 
actually looks cool, but if I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to play a game like this, uh, it's either going to be that 3D Factorio that just came out, or it's going to be uh, Main Assembly. What the heck is Bromeliad? <laughs> Was he using a big hammer to hit a crocodile in the head? Idiot. That is like look at the art here. I actually thought this was like a uh, an FMV game starring Joel McHale. And then you click on the art and it's like the witness. Can't go. Ultimate challenge. Oh my god. I must know. Help a cute kitten to save Barsa Grad from unkind looter cats and restore peace in a cozy town. Oh no! <laughs> Thought it'd just be a nice game with some cute cats, but uh, there's there's combat. I mean, dude, I'm gonna be honest, this seems like a heavy EA. <laughs> it seems like a heavy EA. At least to give it a try. This is Cat Go Ultimate Challenge. Cat Go Ultimate Challenge. We'll, we'll examine a few more new releases, and then we will we will make our selection. Just want to see the reviews. Uh, none of the reviews are in English. Journey of life. Oh my. <laughs> Careful. The game of mafia. <laughs> Dodgeball speed. I gotta know, man. I gotta know. Attack and defense are important, but if you want to succeed, you must go fast. Unlock over 100 teams in the new remastered Epejo Dion League campaign. Hone your skills and overtake your friends as well as the new world champion. It's got a, it's got a nice 1970s aesthetic. Become the manager of Oleander. Their limber players are sure to outsmart. Okay, will you win the all final challenge? All new final challenge and become the world champions? This time, this is not even the end. Arcade mode! <laughs> Fort conflict? I feel uneasy. The Infinity Dome. These are just different maps, maybe? Yep, okay. Win matches in succession to unlock powerful teams. We don't need to watch the trailer again. I'm just like... <laughs> I feel like that, that this game is like an SCP or something like that. It's like if you play this game, you like... You become the, the bleeps in the background. Like every bleep is, that, is something that they've... You know, a soul that they've stolen. Alright, so they have... Oh, okay, so there's... There's three versions. Attack, speed, and defense. And then also, Diodius Premonition. The Shadow Doge has returned. This is very bad for Bromberg, but there is hope. 
The evil shadow doge is back. I'm gonna be honest, the dodge this this has undermined my confidence in the dodgeball game. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I thought the dodgeball game might be like a David Lynch thing, and now I've I've I find myself unconvinced. The unbreakable chain. Oh my god, what the heck is going on? What the Halloween night mahjong? Some of these names, man. Super Brain Cube is <laughs> Imposter Island. Wilhelm Gustav's death. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The last Earthman. I've I've got to know what. Oh my god, this is keep out. But what the heck is the last Earthman? No, oh, it's it's just an arcade game. Keep out. Mostly positive. $22? It's a horror puzzle game. Players explore Devota Hill by manipulating Mr. M in 3D side-scrolling views. Yo, am I insane? This looks kind of cool. Looks like Little Nightmares. That looks pretty neat. Keep out. Reviews. Mostly positive. Full playthrough here. I recommend the, this game, but I thought the demo was better. This looked fun. I guess it's kind of fun. Reminds me of Limbo, but it's more frustrating. I mean, this seems like a cool game, though. Golf party! Golf party! <laughs> Write it down. We gotta do another golf game. No, 100% I'm not clicking on Photo Studio. It will never happen. Oh, I know, Harad. Super Sports Blast! Yo, dude, I'm whether you pick this or not. It's going on the short list. Volley, tennis, or soccer. Choose your favorite sport. Take to the field and prepare to have a blast. Yo, they got volley in this? Now we just pray that it has online multiplayer. And then we realize that it doesn't have online multiplayer, and we go, frick. Incredible save. A truly incredible save. Can you believe it? I am begging you. Seven seconds of full screen. Well worth it. Um, I am begging you, online multiplayer. Shared split-screen co-op. Welcome to seven years of trying to find games for the NLSS. Everybody wham wham. I do kind of... Uh, the USB <laughs> stick found in the ground seems kind of interesting too. But... Um, live ink. Mixed reviews. Hang out game. Oh, he's he's literally hanging on a rope. I think I get it. Don't get bit. We will also not be playing uh, Arrow Snooker. I promise you that. <laughs> or Finger Fortress. Fit Force, real workout. Yo, it's Wii Fit Adventure, dude. But finally, without all the exercise. Isn't Gods Will Fall like that old uh, like robot fighting game? 
All right, all right. We, I mean, we gotta, we gotta bail at some point here. Like we, we've already made it all the way down to uh, January twenty eighth. That's a long time ago. But you, you can find a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff here. I'm, I'm telling you, you ever find yourself uh, bored? Just scroll through uh, Steam's new releases. Go look at the Joe Kowalski Chronicles. Academia, Academia School Simulator. Elijah. Car Game. I mean, that looks pretty sweet. Why would I play Forza Horizon... <laughs> for free when instead I could uh, play car game for a buck 60 um flesh eating geriatric internet predator this is one where just to be on the safe side I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with one of these first and then I just take oh my god is this an FMV game You're a projectionist assembling a long-lost horror film for its first screening ever. A girl obsessed with a vampire ends up meeting the real horrifying thing, but he's far from the sparkly man of her dreams. Now, <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to see, is there any... It says adventure, point and click, horror, FMV, vampire, an all-new interactive FMV game. Mature themes, dark themes, slapstick gore, bad language, fictional vampire drug use, blood fantasy, a monster melts. Oh my god. Did we just find the golden game that we've been looking so long for? It did not say nudity. It did not say nudity. Let's let's give it a little try out here. Flesh-eating geriatric internet predator. Reassemble a shocking lost horror movie. Flesh-eating geriatric internet predator. A young woman is in peril when her handsome internet date is nothing more than a pawn in a vile oh, game no. played by a hideous, aged, flesh-eating predator. <laughs> a twisted, interactive experience from the minds of Nick Box and Kurt Dirt, featuring Kurt paths, Dirt, multiple endings, hidden scenes, secret music videos, and much, much more. Dare you play flesh-eating geriatric internet predator? I don't see how I could not play this. From Let's Go to the Grindhouse Games, the team that gave you such classics as Wrath of the Violent Vicar, Sinister Vibrations, and Fiendish Thieves, comes their most strange and terrifying title yet, Flesh-Eating <laughs> Geriatric Internet Predator, coming soon to Steam and Itch.io. <laughs> oh, it's an Itch.io thing too, okay. Um, I mean, let, let's just put that one on the list, okay? Flesh eating. It's going to take a while to write. It's a long title. Flesh eating. Geriatric. Internet. Predator. Okay. Hopefully you've been here for the whole segment so far. Um, we have many games on the list. I'm actually going to chop a couple off, okay? Because the short list got a little too long. One, two, three, 
four, five. Okay, we got five games on the list. You ready? Game one. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Also, how do you make a poll? <laughs> and can the poll have more than two options? Because if the poll can only have two options, this is going to take a while. <laughs> It can have four. It can go up to five. Four? Five? Four? Four. Okay. I got to chop one more game off the list. All right. All right. So I'm going to chop off Devour because Devour is something that we'll play in, in like multiplayer maybe if we're going to do it. This seems like a fun game to play for a Gex. Okay. You got four games, okay? You got Astro Narch. That was the solo auto battler. Where you, uh, they said it had Slay the Spire art. You choose some RPG characters and they, they battle for you. You get some loot and you win the game. You have the world's hardest game, 3D. Where you try to navigate your three-dimensional cube through a series of difficult obstacles. Impossible obstacles, some might say. You have Cat Go, the ultimate challenge. Cat Go um, was the game where you play as a, a cat and you you do some cool platforming. Uh, and then you got Flesh Eating Geriatric Internet Predator, which was an FMV uh, horror grindhouse sort of game. So let me uh, let me go. And I'll, I'll make my I'll make this poll. If I can figure out how to use the website on which I make my living. Manage your stream. Grow your community. Manage your chat. Uh, none of those buttons work. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. made a poll. Thank you. What should we play? All right. I'll have you know I have casted my vote. And I'm going to tell you right out of the gates. I'm not trying to dissuade people from, from playing anything. Uh, or from voting, I should say. But it seems very clear that a flesh-eating geriatric internet predator is going to come out with a dub on this one. And and because we got like an hour left, let's do a little... Because I, I honestly... We just went over time on Minecraft and we lost our Death Stranding segment today. Which I apologize for, but we can sneak it in through the rest of the week for sure. We can double up on Death Stranding tomorrow, without a doubt. It's also the first time we've run this segment, so I like I didn't know how long to keep it moving for. Um, I think I, I maybe went a little over long on the scouting, but it also brought us, in my opinion, the best game at the end. So, I w look, Flesh Eating, no question, that's going to get played. And then uh, I, th I think we should buy Cat Go as well. I, th I think we should try a little bit with the... Uh, I think we should we should get both of those and give them a, give them a half hour in the in the sun. <laughs> so let, we can cut the poll there. I will purchase both of these games uh, during this advertisement break, and and then we'll play. We'll start with Cat because I think we'll probably go a little shorter on Cat is my expectation, and then we'll play. Um, and then we'll play a little flesh-eating geriatric internet predator. So we'll run some ads here. Cat Go. Cat Go does not exist in the Twitch database. Playing games chat chose for me. And I, I'm still going to go to the bathroom as well. But let me at least get these going on Steam. For You never know how long the downloads might be. You never know how long the downloads might be. Cat, cat cat goes fishing. Okay, cat go ultimate challenge. That's a dollar eighty three sucked out of my pocket. And then flesh eating geriatric internet predator. That's another two sixty eight. You put those together. That's almost one share of Converge Technology Solutions on the TSX venture. So I hope you know what I'm giving up here. I will purchase for myself and I agree to the terms of the Steam subscriber agreement. Done. 
installing. 3.3 gigabytes. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Squeep. I am back. I am back. No, we 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 played grounded before. We played it on a on a show or two with Robert for sure. We're ending today's show by playing two games Chad chose for me. Cat go Ultimate, I gotta figure out what it's called. Ultimate Challenge. And. Flesh Eating. <laughs> Geriatric Internet Predator. I'm gonna put in brackets. It's an FMV game. No Minkus. There you go. Okay. We got 56 minutes. It's pretty deeply Minkus. It's not Minkus. You would look. You wouldn't. We don't know yet, okay? Okay, here we go. Let's get it moving. Cat Go Ultimate Challenge. It's booting up as we speak. Cat Go! Cat Go Ultimate Challenge. Cat Go Ultimate Challenge. It's quite dramatic music for Cat Go. You, you gotta love, and, and trust me, I've played my fair share of games like this in the past. I mean, like, remember when I did that stream where I, we did the baby simulator? Like, that was... Those games, I did not... Uh, feel any remorse yeeting them from the from the switch in order to fit Mario Maker. Let's just put it that way. Um, but you know you're in for a treat when a game starts with this as your main menu. No pageantry, no options menu. It's just like, okay, what are you gonna do? What do you load character? You you don't have a character. What do you want us to do? Check. I don't think so. And boing, enter your character's name. Tomp. Uh, Tomp looks most like this, for sure. Consider yourself chosen. Choose world. I will start on workout. It is a $2 game. Okay, here, dude, this is so much like Tomo Quest. Welcome to Barsagrad. Press the spacebar to continue. 
My name is Boris, and I really need your help. In the city of Barsigrad, a gang of looter cats has appeared who do not want to work honestly. Um... <laughs> What's the- this is Buckethead? This is actually a Buckethead song? What the heck, man? Take the music down to zero. Take the music down to zero. Let's collect- Oh my god. Is this- I think this is immediately- Yikes, dude. This is immediately yikes. I just want to pick up the fish. Can you jump? Oh, of course you can jump. Why- why you gotta make- Oh... Why you gotta take your game... And then uh, turn it into something like that, you know? I just- I, I gotta ask. And- and also, how did the game called Flesh Eating... Geriatric Internet Predator end up being, like, less... Scary? Less questionable than everything else. <laughs> Honestly, I'm taking this. I'm, I'm taking it out. There you go. Two minutes. It made it. Two minutes. Be gone. You trying to get me DMCA'd? I don't think so. $1.89 yeeted. All right. Bad game. Flesh eating also does not appear in the list. Games and demos. Okay. Well, okay. Cat go. You had your moment in the sun. <laughs> Trust me, I uh, I wanted to give it a little bit more time, but there was like thinly veiled, uh, and by thinly I mean like completely not veiled at all uh, undertones. Oh my god, it's so loud. Okay, let, let me remove that uh, from my Steam inventory so it doesn't mine Dogecoin. Cat go. Manage. Uninstall. And that spyware will be with me forever. I'm interested for this, though. Donkey, donka, donkey, donkey. Donkey, donkey, donkey. And refund. Okay, are you... I just want to make sure it's capturing. Are you capturing? Som sometimes, like, FMV games don't do well at game capture. Not capturing. Okay. Hit me with a quick Alt-Enter. No, Alt Enter does not work. Click to start. Oh, there's a settings menu! No, take me out, take me out, take me out, take me out! Just give it a sec. <laughs> you gotta go to the settings menu first. Hey, when you're buying like $1 games on Steam, you're not always gonna be getting something that, that captures. <laughs> Can I have the options menu, please? Come on, man. Come on. S settings menu. I, I just want to go to the settings menu! This segment is a, is a disaster, dude. Death Stranding died for this. I just want to capture the game. Please, is there like a, like the, the little options menu cog exists for like a microsecond and then it disappears. Oh my god, fine. I will delete the, the cat go tweet. <laughs> I don't think, like people are like, do it before you get canceled. Like what's, what's the, what, what do you think is the thought process there? Someone's gonna go see the tweet. Be like, he he didn't play the game for two seconds. Go look up the game. 
buy it themselves, play it, be like, what the heck, this game's racist, and then be like, how dare you play this, and then stop playing it after two minutes. I only, the only reason I deleted the tweet is so that people in chat shut up about it. Live playing flesh-eating geriatric internet predator. It's an FMV, you know what, Play, you're playing a grindhouse FMV game. Give it one of those. And then figure out how on earth to capture this game. You go no cam overlay for a second. You swap it over here. You then put on full screen display capture. I mean like People who are like, I'm missing how it was racist. I, uh, I don't know how to explain it to you, but you know, you ever see that, uh, that meme or it's from a TV show that's like, I know writers who use subtext and every single one of them is a coward. <laughs> it was like a very thin metaphor, but let's just pog up and we're going to go uh, play. Some flesh-eating geriatric internet predator. Should be a little bit more of a wholesome game. In less than 24 hours from now, hundreds of sleazy, sweaty film fans will be crammed into a seedy, smoky cinema, eagerly awaiting to watch the lost horror movie classic, flesh-eating geriatric internet predator, for the first time anywhere, ever. The trouble is, the film's in pieces, and it's your job to reassemble it in all its horrific glory. The first clip is loaded into the projector, ready for you to start. The second clip is marked A4. Wait, I'm wrong, it's B6, I think. Call me if you get stuck. Okay. For people asking about subtitles, I, I could not get uh, the options menu to even open. <laughs> Before the game started, uh, in order to work on the, the capture. So just, just give it a moment, we'll... We'll work it out together. Internet predator. After each scene, you must pick the correct film strip. One will advance the story. One will play an alternative clip. And one is a game over that could send you back several scenes. If you are stuck, click the green call button on the top left and the trailer guy might give you some advice. Long scenes can be skipped with a click. So you do not need to watch them over and over. You can click the cog in the bottom corner to save and load your progress. Enjoy the game. Poggy. Okay. You can click. There's three strips. One scene will advance the game. One stream is an alternate clip. One will give you a game over. Starring. Many people. Including Kurt Dirt, who is really all I'm here for. The story is also done by Kurt Dirt. It's also directed by Kurt Dirt. Under the moonlight, their pale, white bodies glimmered. Gazing into one another's eyes, the two immortal brothers knew that the world of the living would never understand their passion. No. No, that's not right. The world of the living would never embrace their dark, velvet lust. That's it. My name is Greta, moderator of the Vampire Erotic Fiction Society. Member of Team My Network, Immortal Dusk Sparkle 89 on Suckers.com Network. This is a story of destiny, of how the forces of fate brought two souls together. His name is Vincent Ravenheart45 on Suckers.com. We got chatting after he read my work online, and I know this sounds crazy, but he confided in me that it was all real. All the stories, all the myths. He said my fan fiction was so close to the truth that he knew we had a connection and we belonged to Oh, okay. All right. Just give me one moment. I'm going to I'm going to crank the volume up just ever so slightly. I'm also going to peep this options menu very quickly. 
data save data load hide message message skip back to title okay so we'll be stuck with display capture which is okay as long as the game never crashes and then you go search sound settings sound mixer options volume control adjust volume okay I got no not I don't want to make my device volume change other sound settings because like it took control of my first monitor I can't get the monitor <laughs> to show me my my default sound mixer anymore manage sound devices like you know how in the bottom right uh, in your system tray there is like a volume mixer What's that called? <laughs> so I can search for it. Because adjust volume is not... It's bringing up like the Windows 10, you know, like kid glove stuff. I want the actual control over the, the mixer itself. Right click on the volume button. I don't have access to the... Um, to the... Because I... Hold on. <laughs> Press the Windows button. I think you're right, actually. Search mixer. Because Windows key D doesn't, um... Oh, drag a window onto your existing window. Thank you. Open volume mixer. See, it's not that hard, like, once you get the options. Then you crank this up. It might be a little louder. Thank you, chat. Thank you for whoever said drag window over. That was, that was huge intelligence. All right, we're going to get back to it. Let's send it. Boop. Select strip. A4, C1, B6. We're starting A4. I packed my bag, left a goodbye note for my asshole parents, and set off to Blackpool to meet my dark friends. After waiting for hours, I'd almost left when... Greta, I mm -hmm. Sorry for my tardiness. Oh, it's okay. I only just got here. Oh, very spooky. Thank you. And you, though. No, never mind. It's, it's Anthony just, Hopkins. I thought with it being daytime, you'd be more sparkly. Those books exaggerate certain things. It isn't safe for the around here. I think I'm cranking the volume really cranked up the Blackpool Pier sounds, but not the dialogue at all. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Can't stop doing the hand thing. film try again all right um this is basically tonetta you're not wrong take me to a6 please game over try again wow <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have to we might have to just cut our losses on this one 
I feel like the start of this segment was like really, it had potential, and then the eh, it went down maybe a weird path. Let's put it that way, man. I didn't expect the cat game to be uh, racist, nor did I expect um, to see a man uh, rubbing his hairy nipples at the start of this. Um, I think we're just gonna say I apologize, and uh, you know what? Let's 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 go on to the next game on the list. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go get. Uh, we're going to get the world's hardest game, 3D. <laughs> the world's hardest game, 3D. It's been, it's been a hit from a humorous perspective, for sure. Now, yeah, if this game is, is racist, oh my god. I will lose all, all faith in Steam. Purchase for myself. I feel like Steam is like your card has been declined because you bought too much garbage. It's moving so slowly right now. Hold on. Hello, Steger. The Steam Festival is tomorrow, and there are so many good demos. All, all I had to do was wait a day. <laughs> if I just waited a day, we would have been fine. All right, here we go. Purchase for myself the world's hardest game, 3D. Oh, we'll we'll bring the segment back once I once I make the overlay. There's no question we're bringing the segment back. But we will probably stay on the safe side of Steam instead of uh, instead of going to the the spicy side of Steam, where Valve just washed their hands and went, ah, whatever happens here, uh, we'll just quarantine it. <laughs> stay on the main roads. I did think that the cat game looked pretty safe. You're not wrong. All right. World's Hardest Game 3D. Made with Unity. That's a good start. It means it will probably capture. Has an actual main menu. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Pretty nice, so look at this. Lower the volume just a little bit. <laughs> Continued, no, new game. All right, the world's hardest game, 3D. Oh, you can look at it top down if you want to be a coward, but you can't move top down. All right, look at this. I lost. I, you, you can't even touch the walls. Good to know. Good to know. I've been hit again. I've, I've touched the wall. Okay, just give just give it a sec. It's not possible. It it can't be done. Oh, so. Never mind, it's easy. I've done it. <laughs> All right, just sight read. If you can sight read a level, you're a true legend. There you go. Third level under control. Getting the coin. Nobody said it was going to be easy. <sighs> That's why they... That's why you get 7,000 views on Twitch.tv. It's because you're a real gamer. Look at that. The coin has been achieved. <laughs> the world's hardest game, 3D. You said it would be easy. I did say it looks like the easiest game of all time, I guess. 
I'm just waiting for when you, like, finish the game. It's like, you know... Finish the game to, you know... Call your son and tell him you'll never speak to him again because he's an atheist. And I'll be like, oh, why do these games, they're all shoving their political agendas into things, man. First there was the cat game. Then the anti-vampire agenda in, in flesh-eating geriatric internet predator. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How many levels are there? It said there were 30 levels in the game. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Lord, forgive me. You're about to turn me into an Isaac streamer, dude. Oh, okay. What? Try again. Try again. Okay. Oh! Like, no joke, obviously, like, not the most polished game ever released. But there's just... There's just something about it, right? There's something about trying to pilot very simple shapes through a complicated situation. It's like distilled gaming. High octane distilled gaming. Look at that. Look at that! Level 4 under control. I think. You just follow them down. Very simple maze. Oh. Okay, good side read, good side read. Don't be afraid to grab your coin. Turn it around. The cube's got, got large edges. You gotta be careful. Plan, plan your attack here. Oh, so easy, dude. So easy. This is how the world looks to me to begin with as well. Like, everything's just cubes and spheres, dude. What? Diagonal movement? Oh my god. Straight up. I've decided I don't care about the... About the, the wafers at all. We're going... You gotta get both of the wafers? Well, it's not possible then. It just, it, it simply cannot be done. Oh my. It's like the OG impossible game. I if, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I never played the OG impossible game. I'm pretty sure that was like a middle school flash game you played. I was probably like in my 40s by the time it even came out. You never said it? Well, that's why I said if I said it, if I said it once, I've said it a thousand times. <laughs> I didn't say I've said it once. I said if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. Incredible work. Mm. Have you met my good friend Minkus? It does feel nice to be playing an actual video game, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Like, I can get down with this. The environment in the cat game was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I am waiting for the other shoe to drop, though. What are you doing? Hmm... Monka? Yes, so the, the, the Predator game was also like, like it seems like it's up my alley, don't get me wrong. 
And I, I appreciate the aesthetic or the, the commitment to the grindhouse aesthetic, but also simultaneously, I'm like, you know, the for streaming to work, the audio balance has kind of got to be there to begin with. You know what I mean? Like the audio is deliberately like bad as a joke. It's the kind of thing that if you're watching it like alone at home, you might be able to get down with. But when you're streaming and like, you know, a thousand people are going to be like, why is it so quiet over and over? You're like, maybe this is, maybe I should just play Cube, Cube Patrol. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the guy rubbing his his chest, but so yeah, we'll play some Death Stranding tomorrow. I think it's fair to say, or <laughs> like in a minute. <laughs> like when I, you know, thought of this idea, I was like, man, why don't more people? Uh, like, do this. This will be a lot of fun. And I think I've realized. This is the this is the height of what we got here. You always got to try new things. And, and browsing the Steam store was fun. But we got to rework it for sure. I think I've decided a couple of things. One is don't let... It, and it's not chat's fault. Because I, I was pogging up over the, the games that we came across. But maybe exercise a little bit more decorum. And maybe don't just embrace the, the memeiest game out of all of them. Maybe actually look at the game that like looks like it has the mechanics. You know, like Astro Narc and, and Velheim. And then, you know, make your own memes in the game. Instead of just being like, let's play the spiciest game available. And that's on me, that's not on you. And the cat game is just a historical low roll. You play a game, it looks like it's going to be a fun 3D platformer about kitties, and then it's like, you know, well, you know, aren't the people who, uh, you know, you're going to uh, be mad at the people who broke into the Capitol, and meanwhile somebody smashed the front window in Target and you didn't even bat an eye? Which is basically what they were saying with the <laughs> with the tutorial text. Okay, let me in. Let me in. Can't help but feel like in 2D, um, this would probably be a little bit easier. Which explains why it's the hardest game in the world. The Impossible game was originally in 3D. Not if you turn your TV to the side. Son of a... <laughs> is any of that making it to YouTube? Why, why is chat that's presently watching on Twitch so concerned with the content that they just saw making it to YouTube? It's like you're walking out of a movie theater, you just watch Avengers Endgame, and you're like, oh, I wonder if, you know, when does the DVD come out? It's like you just saw it, man. Plus, it's 2021, we're on Blu-rays now, Grandpa. Oh! <laughs> just let me, just let me in there, please. Personally, I'm still doing VHS. And I don't think it could get any better than that. Can you imagine if uh, television screens could be placed in cars back in like the 90s? Can you imagine like loading the VHS tape into the trunk of your Honda Civic? Being like, we're going to watch Jurassic Park. They did that in vans? Dude, really? I've never seen it. I gotta get it. I gotta escape this game. This game. It's the world's hardest game. The rage the rage quit is coming, man. Look. Oh my god! Get me out of it. I I Mmm, this game is so hard it makes me want to take a diarrhea dump. 
We had a GameCube in my mom's van. Mo does it I like when Chip gets mad at games. That's the ticket. My ass. Suck my ass. And I'm like, he's he's got a good way of diffusing his anger. What were they thinking? I did not see Chib's pair of underwater mammaries in Dadcraft. I would appreciate if he would keep the server PG-13, though. For all the, the gamers out there, like myself. This is the last level I'm doing, man. This is the last level I'm doing. I'll tell you that. Once I'm done with this, it's over. It's the last level I'm ever going to do. How much was this? I think this was the most expensive game of the bunch. It was $3. Canadian. Hello. Just okay, the baby situation. Okay. 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 Baby is napping. So as soon as she wakes up, um, you should feed her. Okay. Mm I did feed her just before. Okay. Sounds good. It's, it's like a perfect day so far. Perfect day. You love to hear it. It's been a perfect day on stream, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Played a game where you play as a cute kitten, and then it turned it into an allegory uh, about <laughs> racial justice in America. It got a little spicy. Oh. Played a FMV game um, where a dude started rubbing his hairy nipples out of nowhere. And I've decided I am just going to play League of Legends for the rest of my life. Oh, this, looks like League of Legends. this is this is the world's hardest game 3D. Oh, it looks more like um, Sonic. It's it's a difficult game. It's not for average gamers. Oh, thank you. Thank you. When you're done streaming, I brought down the baby laundry. Okay. No problem. All right. You know you, you, you had a weird stream when I'm like, I'm so excited for the stream to be over so I can do the baby laundry. <laughs> Like man, I could be shoving clothes into the into the washing machine right now. But no, I think this segment went it, I think it's a good idea for a segment. We just can't we can't extend the meme banner as far as I thought we could. All right. Well, maybe we could do one more level cuz we I mean we just crushed it right there. Canucks game in 20 minutes too. I only watched the Canucks play the Senators. What the? Like, what is life like if you're a fan of the Ottawa Senators, man? Well, it's like being a Canucks fan two years ago. Or a Senators fan last year. That's me? <laughs> Canucks have had some bad years recently. But they're like starting they're starting to work their way out of it, it seems, although a little unevenly, which is to be expected. Come on, man. The guy that made the cat game also made idiot. I figured. I figured. Idiot also very nearly made it on the short list. Maybe we should consider ourselves lucky. Get me out of here, man. Get I'm death 134. But you know what? Close close game. Steam World's hardest game. Uh store page. Write a review. It does exactly what it says it would do. Nothing more, nothing less. It doesn't try to shoehorn a story 
in where there shouldn't be one. It's content to just be a game. And for that, I support it. Do you recommend this game? Yes. Post review. It is also... Well, I, I want to leave a review that's like... Don't, it's not racist, but what if I get to the end of the game and it's like, congratulations, you've defeated the protesters. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> I, can't, I can't leave that in the review until I played the whole game, okay? I don't know what the heck we're going to play. We got 18 minutes. I should be quieter as well. I don't want to wake the baby up. The dev of the FMV game replied to your tweet. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I turned up just as you shut it off and apologized for it. I'm the dev behind this game. My stuff is an acquired taste. It can be a little risky, but thanks for mentioning it. Yo, it's not on your end at all. I get it and have played a bunch of FMV stuff. For sure. That being said, <laughs> the, the person rubbing their nipples might just be a little too much for the internet to handle right now. And then you hit him with the gif of Back to the Future. Where Marty McFly goes, I guess you're not ready for that one. I guess you're not ready for that one. Michael J. Fox, Johnny, be good. I need to find it on the GIF keyboard. Where he's also saying the word. You know what I mean? Like when he's saying the line. I might have to search for the image. Okay. I'm not... I guess you're not ready for that yet. Okay. You know what? They'll get it. They'll get it if I... If I oh, what happened to my draft, dude? Yo, type fun. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, what a segment. What a segment, man. I don't know. We got 15 minutes left. We got a little bit of water left in the in the water bottle. Ah, I don't know what we're going to play. I do need to... Oh, the baby is crying as well. That's unfortunate. I thought she was asleep. You know what? I, that's fine. You know, anytime you need to fill some space, that's where you just shove a little chest... Uh, you shove a little bullet chest in there. Oh, wait. Is Dan online? He has a yellow square in his name on chess.com. He's in Oh my god, Dan's Dan's playing live chess right now. Can we can we spectate Dan's games? Just give me one moment to figure this out. If we could do a live reaction to Dan's games, uh then the stream would be redeemed. He's no longer in live. He is not in live. No, not on Steam. I mean like uh on chess.com. Chess.com. Oh, he's not online anymore, dude. He went offline like immediately. Who will win chess.com Pog Champs 3? I'm going to vote for Ludwig. Submit. Ludwig has 27% of the votes. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. Okay. Chess.com. Play. Play online. Screen region Poggy. 
screen region is again screwed up because this is uh, from when we were playing the bots. Just give me one moment, please. Just give me one moment. Just give me one moment. It's going to be fine. Just give me one moment. Critical will win. Is critical? I, I thought critical was in the last one. He's in this one too. He is. Two tournaments and still not too good for Pog Champs, huh? You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Okay, one minute. Bullet chess. 